Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back, <laughs> guys. It's been a minute. Uh, uh, life, life happens, you know, and things happen. So sometimes you have to take a break from things. But here I am. Uh, uh, I want to make a quick update. Um, first, I changed my channel name. Um, I changed it to Melanated bantu msafiri if you've not noticed melanated bantu uh, underscore msafiri because i think that's uh, a more inclusive name that in that kind of uh, you know includes the person that i feel i am i am melanated you know i'm a person of color i'm black i am a bantu and i like to travel so that's me <laughs> it's a summary of me i re removed quatch because a lot of my german friends were having trouble with that name and i explained somewhere i don't know which video it's one of my videos that quatch is a name for leopard in luo you know and uh, Luo is one of the many languages spoken in Kenya. I don't speak the language. I don't understand the language. Just, just the greetings. And uh, yeah, so, and my middle name, you know, my middle name, I am from the Embu community. My middle Embu name is Gary, and uh, Gary is leopard. So I was like playing with the one, so I thought the black leopard. But well, the Germans, friends of mine were like, <laughs> it's hard for them to say quatch uh because quatch in german means you know to talk bullshit you know i'm for question means you know you're talking you're just talking you know nothing important so and then others were not being able to pronounce it correctly they were saying kvach or something like that and for me um that was not so good, you know, so I thought, uh, let me just make it easy for everybody. I think everybody can say Melanated Bantu Msafiri. I think that's easy. So that's the quick update. And uh, this video, I want to go back to my very first video that I posted here, uh, which has received quite a lot of comments. And I've been wanting to react to some of your comments. But uh, as I said, life happens and uh, I didn't really have the time. First of all, I apologize that the video, the, 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 the sound quality was not so good. So I sound really, you know, like I'm not talking so loudly. But, you know, you can turn the volume up and you'll be able to hear me. It was my first video. I was just playing around with things. I didn't know what I was doing. And, you know, as you grow and learn these things, you become better. And so um, uh, for those who can't hear me, just turn, turn up your, you know, your volume and you'll be able to hear me uh others were saying the video is too long i mean i was trying to explain everything uh <laughs> as i said i was just i was just experimenting on things guys i didn't know what i was doing but apparently the video has received a lot of comments i can't go through a lot of them but i want to thank each and every one of you who uh wrote a comment positive or negative everything is always welcome just just you know use some respect you know um you everybody is allowed to have their own point of view and you don't have to agree with me or with anybody else but just present your view in a you know in a in a uh, how do you say in a civilized manner just 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 be civil you don't have to insult anybody including me and i i, I i'm not going to insult you back anyway so uh, the main things that i wanted to react on the video are some people are asking me um um what are they asking? Somebody was asking me uh, if I have, um, I forgot, I have to look. Uh, let me try to find the comment. Uh, somebody called Crescent, 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 I think that's how you pronounce it, asked, what are your haplo groups of 23 and me? And I replied, and uh i said that uh that like one month ago i said that i'm going to cover that in another video and i want to cover that in this video now uh i 
we'll check what upload groups i have oh by the way uh if you've not watched that video i'll link it up here so that you can get the background of what i'm talking about i'm not going to go through my um genetic breakdown although apparently uh 23 and me uh updated it uh but i won't go through that because i think that will make the video too long again but so check that video and uh, you will you will be able to understand where i'm coming from but quickly just to mention it uh if this thing is gonna open um now 23 and me uh updated my ancestry composition and um they included southern east african uh which now means i am 73 percent right about southern east african that includes kikuyu kamba people luya luo people so they are getting close but it's still not it's still not, not correct because i'm neither kikuyu i'm neither kamba neither luo neither Lu, luya and uh, luo kikuyu kamba you can group, group them together because they are bantu groups but luo is not a bantu group so i don't know uh, why i would be included there but anyway southern eastern african means just basically where i come from uh, and then they are saying i have some angolan and congolese like five percent shona and guni people <laughs> i've never been to angola or congo <laughs> and then broadly congolese southern east african like three like percent then i have northern east africa 16 percent which includes Ethiopia and Eritrea 10% or 11% you are out of Sudanese 1.2 broadly Northeast Africa 4.4 and broadly Sub-Saharan Africa 1.9 so this is more um this is more I find this a bit more accurate than the earlier one uh my heritage um it didn't really change it still says I'm only 59% uh Kenyan 15% Somali, 8% Maasai, 7% um, Sierra Leone, 6% Nigeria, like that, Middle Eastern, Baltic. Why would I have Baltic? <laughs> I still wonder where they got this from. Like, seriously, Baltic. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yes, I, uh, I have um, uh, haplo groups in 23andme and uh, i'm trying to find them but i don't know where they are uh i've not used this thing in a, in a minute so i found it i'm going to make a photo of the uh haplo groups on 23andme and i will link it up here there yeah so it says <sighs> i don't think i have neanderthal what would i have for neanderthal like for real okay neanderthal of zero percent thank goodness <laughs> that would be so weird having neanderthal because i thought that's uh specific for uh you know what i mean specific for europeans and asian people okay so um according to the 23andme uh ancestry report i have uh my maternal haplo group is l3 h one a two a i will check what that means and my pattern of haplogroup is e minus p two five two so let's check what this pattern of haplogroups mean uh it says um uh, it's something to do with this east africa and uh it says uh well that's a lot of stories i'm not going through all that like uh well this case is that my mom my mama's ancestors they came somewhere from east africa approximately sixteen thousand years ago and i share this l3 h1a2a with one in nineteen thousand customers at 23 and me that's not a lot okay uh and the l3 group is actually the bantu uh there were women who are living in east africa and i think they were assimilated by the bantus who are migrating down um that could explain why a lot of east africans were mixed uh so 
like uh, by into migration I think they were intermarrying with these women and that's where my my uh, my mom's uh, you know DNA side comes from okay so that's uh, Matano haplogroup and my Patano haplogroup uh, says I, uh, I have EP252 and uh, I descended from a long line of male ancestors that can be traced back to Eastern Africa over 275,000 years ago um, and as they ventured out of East Africa they branched off into diverse groups that crossed and recrossed the globe over tens of thousands of years okay I didn't know that and um, uh, so that's my paternal side and I share this with one in 120, uh, 23 me customers. So that's quite common, I think. And <laughs> this is really good. It says that I share my ancient paternal lineage with Pharaoh Ramesses the <laughs> third. Yeah, it says that uh, I share uh, ancient paternal lineage with Pharaoh Ramesses the third. That's cute. <laughs> okay. Good. It's good to know that I I I am uh, of the pharaoh lineage. I come from kings and queens. Yes. Anyway, so that's the update. Uh, I don't know if there's anything similar on um, uh, my heritage. Uh, let me see. There's nothing here. Okay, let me see if there's another comment that I can comment on before I move on um genetic nomad my head is quite entertaining and colorful great video and great video thank you genetic nomad and then mgmt hey you are one of my relative matches great video cools oh it's a cousin of mine somewhere i don't know who is that who is mgmn mt um kenyan uh m says somebody called m says kenyans look evidently different i always mistake them for domini dominicanas oh i could be from the dominican republic who say who knows but i can't speak spanish huh? my spanish is non-existence <laughs> oh, they speak spanish don't they um uh, central RVE9 says Central Africa might be Hatsda or Sandawe. I don't know what's Hatsda or Sandawe. Yani Tub says I see the Somali and Kenyan Ise in your face. Thank you. I love Somali. Trust me. Um, if I were to marry, I would probably marry a Somali lady. <laughs> if I were to marry. Um, as a Kenyan Somali, you look like, uh, this is Calypso, as a Kenyan Somali, you look like you have a mixture of Cushitic population, including Borana or more Somali Kenyans, people from your eyes and resemblance in your overall face. I noticed a lot of Kenyans tend to have up to 20% or more from Cushitic, most probably that live in Kenya, but I will just show up but it will just show up as Somali or Ethiopia. Calypso. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I remember when I was uh, at the university here in Germany, This the first time we had the, you know, like the, the class meeting, there was a guy from, uh, from Ethiopia and uh, he came to me and he was speaking to me <laughs> and I was just looking at him like, what in God's name are you saying? Because I did not understand a thing that he said. And then uh, I stopped him and told him, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Could you speak in English? And then he was like, oh, I thought you are from Oromo. Like, what? <laughs> I've never been to Ethiopia, but I plan to visit. Uh, Mahdi Yusuf, Salamu alaikum Mahdi Yusuf. 
you are Somali, karibu sana. Thank you. Uh, Maragori history. Bro, there's an update. Bro, there's, a, there's an update. Yeah, I just mentioned it. Um, and a lot of comments and they go on and on. There are so many guys, I can't read all of them. So all I can say, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And please come back. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm looking for subscribers, guys. So hit that like button and that subscribe button, okay? And then I will try to keep you entertained entertain as much as I can. And until then, stay blessed, stay melanated, and remember, no matter which skin color you are, you are absolutely beautiful, handsome, and fabulous. So love yourself and do not let anybody bring you down. Bye!